Hey guys, I just wanted to show you how to drive a P3 64x64 RGB LED display. Um, this is one I just arrived today in the post and I thought I'd throw together a video. Uh, you can see it's pulling off 600 milliamps at the moment. So let's get started by showing you the two parts. First we have the display piece itself. These are actually designed for displays and uh, billboard systems for advertisement purposes, but they're actually really ideal for projects. Uh, this one I waited for about 40 days in AliExpress, so I'll leave the link in the description for the item. And the next part is the Adafruit bonnet, which is the hat for the Raspberry Pi. Uh, you can see it here. There's just a small soldering point, which will have to modify on the actual hat itself, which is easy to do. Uh, panel, panels are us also sent me a pen and pad which is branded which I thought was really cool so there's one thing to keep in mind we have a J in port and we have a J out and the J out is for daisy chaining to further displays and uh, J in is for the data to be actually given in from the Raspberry Pi so we'll be using the J in port on this panel, the actual specs of the panel itself were on the top right hand corner. You can see it says the P3, which means it's a 3mm separated LEDs, 64 by 64 pixels, and it's a 32 scan. So the Adafruit uh, bonnet was really easy to use. It comes with three pads at the back, as you can see here, for modifying to use with 64 by 64 panels. And you want to make sure you source circuit the E to the 8 pin with this particular display. And to attach it to the Raspberry Pi, really simple, simply uh, slide the pins into the female ports. Just make sure that uh, none of the pins are bent beforehand because they will actually go through the female ports to the PCB itself. And also just keep in mind that you don't contact the heat sink of the Raspberry Pi Zero to the hat itself, which I just separated slightly just to make sure it wasn't touching. And that's it. For the display itself, uh, we're going to use again the J in port with the data cable provided. Um, so I'm just going to make sure I put that in the right way around. You can't go it wrong, there's a slider to stop you from putting it in the wrong way around. And again, I'm checking for the side, for the right side, for the Raspberry Pi Zero. Just so that I save time, I'm going to start up my Raspberry Pi now. Just while it's booting, I can figure out the power cables. So here it comes with uh, two plugs for the power cable. doesn't matter which one you use, they're both plugged into the same ones. And I'm just going to place one into the P3 and then my terminals to my PSU, my power supply unit. And given this one 3 amps because it's rated a 3 amp maximum draw and a 5 volt input. So here I'm just SSH'd into my Raspberry Pi. I'm going to enable the power to the display. And you can see it's not drawing much at the moment because it's not actually pulling any power. And from here I'm just going to CD into the repository for the Raspberry Pi. Then I'm going to cd into the examples directory within the git repository. I'll run this uh, string command with the demo program, which uh, will be in the description. Just going to edit out some previous commands. And once we run that, we can see the display has worked. Uh, it's spinning a little cube. It's not looking bad. And uh, from here, I'll just show you some of the changes with the amp pool. So I'm going to demonstrate by showing different colors flashing, uh, the draw of the amps with each different light, because it's actually rated at a maximum of three amps, but I've actually not drawn much more than 1.8. I believe you may need to pull uh, the full brightness setting for white to be able to draw a full three amps. Um, but this should be perfectly suitable for battery powered uh, or portable operations. There's various different games in the GitHub 
repository and this is actually Conway's game which is really cool it's fun to play with you can actually see the different amps being pulled versus how many LEDs are actually being used as well which is quite interesting <laughs> and that's it thanks for watching